Okay. What to do if you've been left behind? If you wake up one morning and discover your underage children missing and the 911 emergency line constantly busy, then turn on the TV to discover all channels are featuring a special news alert announcing that millions of people are missing all over the world. Don't be surprised if your first thought is, could this be the rapture? I have had Christians talk about, if so, then I've been left behind. The news bulletins show unbelievable chaos everywhere. Airplanes without pilots crashing or gliding the trim runway. Trains without fingers and cars without drivers. Working hovers on the rails and roads everywhere. Many have suddenly disappeared, leaving behind their clothes, purses, wallets, medical devices, and whatever other belongings they had on their persons in the, that friction of second during which millions vanished, unimaginable turmoil and tragic has affected everyone. You think of a Christian friend you know who had asked you several times if you would like to invite Jesus into your heart, but you had refused frequently. You have that person's phone number, so you call his or her cell, but there's no answer. Your heart stinks as you realize this friend was raptured You race into the other bedroom to find your three children beds wrapped yet empty. They too are gone because they were below the age of accountability. They were taken in the rapture just as your friend warned. Suddenly you realize the only way you will ever see them again is to turn to faith in Jesus and invite him into your heart. You then call your husband at work. He answered and reports that few people showed up for work. You ask, Roger, do you know what this is? Yes, it's probably that rapture our friends have been warning us about. And we were not ready. So Jesus Christ really was the Son of God. And he did, and he died for our sins on the cross, and that he rose again from the dead, just like they tried to convince us. I was so blind, Sue, but I now believe. Do you think it is too late for us to accept him? You feel the sting of tears on your cheeks as you reply, I hope not. Let's drop to our knees and admit to Jesus right now that we were wrong. If I remember really, we need to confess our sins of rejection, Christ, and ask Him to come into our heart. You really accept your husband's suggestion, and together you pray to receive Christ as your God and Savior. The big question, will God hear such a last minute call for salvation and save the soul of a person who once rejected him absolutely God is a merciful and forgiving God he said this to Moses over 3,500 years ago the Lord the God merciful and gracious long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth keeping mercy for thousands for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgressions 
and sin by no means, cleaning the guilty. The Apostle Peter said this about the Lord in Second Peter 3 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. When the rapture occurs, many will call on the Lord for salvation. As we saw earlier in this book, according to Revelation 7 verse 9 to 15, after the rapture, the 144,000 special Jewish witnesses will begin reaching a great multitude that no man can number. From all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues, with the preaching of the two witnesses in Revelation 11 and the proclamation of the angel having the everlasting gospel mentioned in Revelation 14 verse 6 and 7 and other acts of God's grace millions will hear the salvation message and receive Christ The rapture will change everything. The rapture will be the single most earth-shaking event in human history. While the world will continue to... Funicate, it will reel from the impact of so many people missing every... The of society will be affected, even non-Christian countries like China, where it is a system that 30 million people attend secret church. Secret house churches will be affected. Can you imagine the turmoil that will hit in America where the Gallup poll and other attendance that as much as 35 to 40 percent of the population profess to have had a born-again experience of receiving Christ. If that is true, this country will come to a screeching halt with large numbers of doctors, nurses, health care providers, emergency personnel, and teachers, and other public employers missing life as we know it will come to a standstill business and companies will be severely gripped as large portions of their workforces disappeared altogether officers in every country will be speechless as they try to explain away the missing multitude some even today are are prepared to print stories about aliens snatching them all away and other phenomenal notions. Theories will abound and you can be assured that Satan, the master deceiver, will think of the experiment and pass it on to his servant, the Antichrist. The Bible says this deceiver will sign a seven year covenant with the unsaved leader of Israel. He will then break that covenant in the middle of the seven year tribulation. By that time the Jewish temple will have been rebuilt and the Antichrist will desecrate it by having his false prophet set up an image of himself in the temple and demanding that people bow down and worship him. Those who refuse will be killed and the Antichrist will cause all, both small and great, rich and poor and slaves to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark. Revelation chapter 13 from 16 to 17. <coughs> Well, there will be many converted <clears throat> converted to Christ during the seven-year tribulation. The fact is, they will have missed the rapture, the blessed hope. 
that means they will have to live through the most horrific period in world history. Evil will flourish as never before, and God's wrath will be poured out upon the earth to bring about unprecedented devastation. Several years ago, a young man wrote to tell me he would not accept Christ now because he wanted to wait until the tribulation so he could witness for the for the Lord then and rather convert the tent to say the last. I wrote back and said he had no idea how awful those seven years will be. Besides, neither he or anyone else knows whether they will live that long as the Bible says, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. If you've been left behind, if the rapture has taken place and you've been left behind, the best thing you can do is fall on your knees, repent of your unbelief and your rejection of Christ, confess your sin and pray along these lines. So whoever you may be listening to this right now, my prayer is, If you want to get saved right now, because I'm telling you, I'm making this video before this event takes place. This is going to happen very, 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 very soon. Jesus Christ is coming back. So whoever you may be, if you want to get saved, you can get saved. And whoever you may be, if you felt God dealing with your heart to get right with Him, my prayer for you is, is that you will get right and you will respond to Christ. So if you felt God dealing with your heart, my prayer is, is that you will repeat this prayer after me and it's the sincereness of your heart. It's the sincerity. God looks at the intentions of the person's heart. So whoever you may be, my prayer for you is that if you felt God dealing with your heart to get right, and if you want to get saved, you can get saved. So this is my prayer for you, is that you will get saved. So whoever you are, if you want to get saved, and this is the sincerity and the cry of your heart, may you say this from the bottom of your heart and really mean it. Lord, I have sinned against you. I have never accepted you as my Lord and Savior. I now believe Jesus is the sinless Son of God who died for my sin and rose the third day as he said he would and today I invite you into my heart as Lord and Savior today I surrender to you the rest of my life to do with it as you see fit in Jesus name Amen now if you said that and you really meant it you are saved you are set free so this is all I want to say ladies and gentlemen that's why I'm making these videos because I believe that we're not going to be here much longer we got to get the message out for the time that is left because very soon we will not be here whatsoever. We are leaving this planet very, very soon. Jesus is about to show up. So, this is all I got to say, people. My prayer for you is, is that one day I will see you in heaven. And this is all I got to say. And God bless you all.